Hey there, Nick Genetakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over a couple of custom vim mappings that lets you very easily move one or more lines up or down in a file without clobbering your clipboard. For example, if I hit Shift J here a couple of times, it's going to bring that comment down and Shift K is going to bring it up. I can also do a uh, Shift here and do a selection on a block of text and then also just move this block of text down or move this block of text up. Very handy indeed. So normally I don't make these super short videos calling out every change to my dot files, but this is something that I added very recently and it's turning out to be a pretty high quality of life improvement, especially when programming in my day to day, because this makes it very easy to move something like a variable or a small block of text up or down without clobbering what's in your clipboard. By the way, as an aside, notice how there are no mappings for insert mode. For example, if you're in insert mode and you did, uh, you know, shift K or J, that's just going to insert the characters. So we can't necessarily have uh, insert mode mappings for this unless you used a completely different key. Also, I'm not gonna go over the implementation details for all of this because this is one of those things where I just Googled around for how to move lines up or down in Vim and I found this great post here on a fandom page for Vim that gave uh, those exact bindings here. Although they do have uh, bindings here for insert mode, but one interesting thing here is they have all of their mappings set up to be the alt key. So you could do like alt J and alt K, but certain terminals just don't like that alt key when it comes to uh, using it inside of Vim. So if you're using the Microsoft terminal like me, then the alt key just has no effect. There's an open issue or technically it's a closed issue now where the Microsoft terminal folks, they decided that uh, they don't wanna support uh, this behavior. There are some hacks that you can do that I found on Stack Overflow, like setting this to be some like escape key or whatever, and then setting a timeout. But that just makes using Vim a little bit worse overall because there's like a 50 millisecond timeout every time you hit escape. And yeah, I didn't want to go down that route. So I just settled for using, uh, you know, Shift K and J to move these up or down in normal or visual mode. Because really when it comes to moving these texts around like in, in insert mode. I'm not that concerned about being able to do it in insert mode. Uh, normal mode just for one line is very, very handy on its own. So, you know, that's the one I find myself using the most. Once in a while, I do use the visual select one, but yeah, I mean, this is a super short video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you add it to your vimrc file. This is referenced in my dot files, which I'll leave a link to in the description if you want to copy paste it. With that said, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps. And on that note, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.